Hello, Highlight family. It's me, Lisa Transcendence Brown. And I'm going to try to do a short video because I have an online mastery community event pretty soon. So, um, a, it's been a while. So, for those I have been connecting with in between, thank you. It's been absolutely beautiful. I'm very honored and for the opportunity to um, connect and share. Assist, but um, I am shown to speak on um, ascension and going all in. And um, this has been a uh, big thing lately, um, because uh, so many are being beaten and battered by the ascension process. Um, their physical bodies, their emotional bodies, um, their mental bodies, um, and so that their soul body, spirit body, um, energy body, consciousness body. Um, well, it can all merge as one at the same vibrational frequency of light and love. Um, ascension mm, it is a uh, process that, one, if you're watching this video, you have already been called to, otherwise you wouldn't be here. Um, two, if you're called, if you uh, start to wake up, if you um, start noticing that uh, something is off, different, and that world out there doesn't make sense, then... You have started your awakening, and you are in the middle of your ascension process. Um, technically, we always have been. Um, there is no beginning point uh, as a, since the moment we um, incarnated here, and which has started for everybody in their own way, uh, on their own path, their own journey uh, for how they chose. Um, as a soul, prior to incarnating here. Um, there are many who are under the belief system that they didn't have a choice, that they don't have a choice, that they're still victims uh, to this, and that um, is a mindset as well. Um, it is important uh, to understand that along the way, uh, we start to have new understandings and things are much different than we believed in the beginning. Um, that is, in every moment, it changes. Um, our truth one moment changes, the next moment we have a new truth. That's the beauty of this. We're not fixed to anything anymore. But um, the purpose of this video, because those who know me know I tend to go around the world and talk about everything and come back again sometimes, uh, which is how this world is. Um, many are suffering and to the fact that they will not make a choice. They will not commit. They want the human life that they perceived was supposed to be their human life, and that's the way they want it. Um, they can't perceive anything different. Um, they can't perceive that it should be the complete opposite of what they saw. Um, and that everything that they've put all of their energy in as human has to go. Um, it is this way, and that's the way it is. Uh, we do not get the human existence that we thought um, and ascend. That's the way it is, and, and that's the part that the human has a problem with. Um, you don't walk on the earth. You don't walk in heaven in bliss and magic and, and hold on to the old way. You don't. Um, the cool part is that ascension is much more than you ever could have perceived. Um, new earth, absolutely magic. Everything you've ever dreamed. Literally walking in a physical dream. Um, things materializing instantly. Um, just because you desire and you wish. And you speak it out loud. And here it comes. Things that you dreamed for years. Just arriving. Boom. Right there. Um, but up until that point, And there is a flip side to everything. So those playing in New Earth those ascending um, in the physical are playing and having a blast. Those who are ascending and not letting go are suffering. And suffering is to the mind. Suffering is to that which we hold on to. Suffering is a belief. We do not have to suffer. It's a choice. But the choice that most won't make is to completely surrender, to completely succumb, to sub completely give in and Support and ask for support and totally dedicate everything they have to this. Um, there is no, I want to be conscious, 
half of the time when it serves me anymore. It hasn't been that way for a few years. Um, when we stepped up with the 2012 Gateway, Ascension went full on. It meant that every moment is now Ascension, and it continues to be that way. Um, the more one holds on, the more suffering they will endure. And now suffering, suffering being a perception. When you totally get it, when you totally embrace it with everything that you've got, suffering goes. Then, it might be uncomfortable, but you get it. And you're not resisting it, and you're not fighting it anymore. Um, everything is within us. And we have the power. We have an immense amount of power so far beyond this place. We can do absolutely anything. We're not limited. Our multidimensionality comes back. We are walking, open-eyed state. We don't go unconscious anymore. We don't forget anymore. We remember absolutely everything. Now, do we go to sleep and still see other dimensions? Yes, we do. Some of the time, sometimes we don't. Uh, I've spent days just clearing, clearing, clearing. Um, I will intentionally go to sleep and um, knowing that I'm about to quantum jump huge. been quantum jumping for ever since I ascended in the physical way back when. Um, Physically, with my physical body, full body ascension, uh, over a year ago, or something like that. I don't know. We don't do time here. Um, ascended, um, I think March of 2013, fell again, and so that I could see what was left that needed to be cleared. Open-eyed state, totally conscious, clear, 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 let go of absolutely everything. Many will have their memories return, where they fully ascend and, and fall again. Um, this is a devastating experience to have, and to talk about everything of separation coming up, it becomes visible. Um, many are still hiding. Many are on the spiritual hierarchy trip. I am watching so much ego and spiritual hierarchy go on and clear around me. And the cool thing is when it's not yours, you just get to watch it. And it's just, it doesn't even bother you, doesn't even get you, you just don't go around it anymore. You know that that's that person's reality and that they'll clear it when they need to. Um, there's um, suffering to judgment. Judgment is our own. Standing before the gates of heaven, yes, atonement, um, full, um, what's the word that came through a few weeks ago? Accountability, that's huge. Everybody is being held accountable. This, these are the things you have to go through, but they are to yourself. They are to your higher self aspect. They are to you. They are to yourself as a God. They are to you as a creator again. Um, you have to release everything of a human aspect if you desire to ascend. Um, what happens is what you have left is a pure, totally pure human that doesn't have the capability for anything less than full embodiment of love. It is the entire being. And I will say also, we express everything fully with every part of our being, not just a body part, not just our heart. Our whole body and our being is our heart. Um, our mind is unified. Our whole being is our mind, our senses. We hear, smell, see everything with every part of us. There is nothing to consult out there. We are our higher self aspect. Um, Differences. Um, now, each dimension, third dimension, where we were totally unconscious um, and thought that the physical world was real and that the physical world was all there was and things had to be a certain way, um, where all of our issues, as we call them, were um, control, blame, shame, judgment, all of those things. Um, realities here are not fixed. They're bendable. They, they, we can materialize anything we desire. We just focus and our attention because our hearts are all in. Um, there's nothing in a way anymore. Um, That's called total unification. And you have separation and unification, and we recognize all for what it is. Um, there are so many facets to this, and becoming multidimensional again. We actually get to see and walk in multiple dimensions here and pick. Um... Not choosing ascension is also a choice, and those are the ones who suffer.
Those are the ones who have things removed. And I'm using words for the sake of explanation only. Um, things are removed by us as our higher self aspect because it's trying to point us in a direction to pay attention and get on path. Get inside, get in alignment, let it all go. If it's not in alignment with your inner truth, your inner guidance, your higher self aspect of you, higher self is you. It's in another dimension. It's another frequency. Every time you shift dimensionally, you shift into a different aspect, you shift into a different dimension. <laughs> it's cool. This journey is so simple. We complicated it all. Um, we got to be open, though, and we have to make a choice. And so many um, are like, I don't um, want to commit. I want to do this first. They don't want to pay. And paying, believe it or not, was a built-in mechanism to see if we would choose. Choose our higher self journey. Choose our new earth aspect. Choose us. Choose ascension over the physical world aspect. It's something we have to do. I have so many come to me lack um, doing without a belief system built within. We don't have to do without anything. We don't have to suffer to be in service anymore. That's a belief system. It all is. Um, we have to make a choice, though. And we have to put this first. The cool part is that lack goes, doing without goes. Everything goes that, that we suffered to. <laughs> it doesn't exist anymore. Um, you have ascension guides. You have those who did it first. We are the way showers. This is why we did this. Everybody here technically is a way shower, a light worker. It's all of us. We are the light pillars. We are the crystalline. We are crystals. We are uh, Christ consciousness. We are unity consciousness. We are all of those things when we unify and let go of everything that kept us separated from everything else. Um, you have a lot of people running around from an intellectual standpoint uh, speaking about Christ consciousness and unity, but they're not able to practice it or be it yet. You have a lot of uh, people running around um, still um, operating from an intellectual standpoint of what ascension is, not full-bodied. Um, and, and those I see, I don't need to prove anything, I don't care, not really, um, but I honor others' path, and I'll honor everything. Mm. This is what we do, we don't impose on another. One wants to believe what they want to believe, more power to you. Um, when it's time, and you'll get it too. Um, we all do. I'm here to assist those who are ready, who are ready to jump quantum style, who are ready to catapult, who are ready to embrace, who are ready to take it on, who are ready to stop suffering and let it go and, and embody their higher self here, who are ready to play on new earth and who are ready to just do awesome and amazing things and are who are, are ready to receive the gifts that we bestowed upon ourselves. The other day a portal opened and gifts just poured out. And it was, um, the messages for the last couple of weeks are that everything we've ever dreamed is right here now. Here it comes. And, and every day and every moment, we're jumping big time. Every day something comes to us that we've always desired, that we've dreamed of. Boom, right there. It's so cool. But if you wish to experience this, you have to go all in. Full body, every part of you, you got to succumb, you got to give up, you got to let go of the old ways. Allow your higher self aspect, your inner voice to guide you um, and to show you what's waiting for you in another dimension. If you start to live from your heart and you start to listen through the eyes of your heart, if you go into observation mode and you truly, truly, truly pay attention and you truly honor what you see, when you let go, of that which you're holding on to, which you perceive as safe, a whole world opens up to, up to you. I can't talk anymore. I got a session to go to, a, a gathering to go to. Everything open up, opens up to you when it comes. What you're holding on to is taking up space, and it won't allow all the awesomeness to come forth. Uh, call forth those realities, ask for them, but you have to be ready. You have to say, I'm ready. I'm ready for this. Because if you're not, you'll know it. You'll feel it. And you'll have fear. You'll have doubt. You'll, you'll have non-belief. You have to go inside and figure out why. And you have to clear that if you wish for things to come to you. So, okay.
I'll do another video soon because there's lots to cover and this one is ascension all in jump we have to experience every dimension fully with every part with every bit of our being third dimension fourth dimension duality we had to experience that full body too every bit of us in, in order to ascend and then we ascend and we're in the fifth dimension fully sixth seventh we're I've been anchoring in the seventh dimension for I don't know how long a lot of people still coming into the fifth and been playing in the sixth all year and now it's the seventh been doing that for a while don't really care don't separate them the only reason I'm saying that is because uh, other people do um, I've just now come into the awareness of what I've been playing in as a physical reality here. Um, this is full body, open eyed state. No longer unconscious. Outside the matrix. Playing. On new earth. So come and join us, if you will. Um, it's amazing. And you, technically, there's a version of you already here. Um, so embrace it. And come play with us. Um, Aloha. I love you. And I shall talk to you in another video or online or in session very soon. Mahalo.